Hi Taurus, so when I was putting the cards away for Aries reading, I got the, the tower just flipped out, so I decided to keep it for you. I feel like some of you guys, I mean, I don't want to put your financial situation in, in um, on blast, but I'm hearing like a lot of debt. Like a lot of debt. Someone may put you on blast for that. Like someone may, I don't know why, this is like a reoccurring message. It kept coming out for Aries too. Like be careful who you tell about things. Like someone could be putting something on blast. Like if there's something that you don't want getting out, do not, do not make it come out of your mouth. Um, Taurus, you're going to be very glad that you didn't tell someone something. Because I feel like something's going to happen where like it blows up in someone else's face. And that someone could have been you had you opened your mouth. I feel like you're going to be very happy you didn't do something here. Yeah, because I feel like someone here, whenever they know something about someone, they use that against them or they blast it out loud when it's convenient. They don't know how to be quiet. They tell people's business. Honestly, this could be a triggering moment for you, Taurus, where like an Aries or someone, someone like blabbers, like I feel like someone like tells something about you and it's like something small, but it's like still triggering. And then that kind of makes you happy that you didn't tell them the other thing. Like, I feel like, let's say you have a huge dark secret you don't want to get out but you tell someone a little a little secret like a little thing instead but you still wouldn't want that little thing getting out you tell them that this person i feel like around the first two weeks of september they blast that out loud and you're going to be very happy that you kept this thing this dark dark secret quiet because this person does not know who how to shut their mouth whoever they are it could be a scorpio you're going to be very glad you shut your mouth here very glad you're gonna be glad you kept quiet because this person they have no boundaries no rules they don't know nothing about nothing like they will tell everyone's business and they don't care it's because this is like someone who has nothing to lose this could be an aquarius so i feel like if you're dealing with somebody be careful who you tell things to because this person will backstab you any chance they get it's the tower seven of cups the world for Taurus, um, this person could be jealous of you. What's the Tower, Seven of Cups, the world? It could be coming from an Aries, Two of Swords, Reverse. This person has anger issues. They have problems that they need to solve themselves, but it's like they want you to baby them or, or solve them, solve their issues. Man, Taurus, you are, God damn, I keep getting that message. You are gonna be so goddamn happy you didn't tell this person anything. You're gonna be so happy you did not show your hand or reveal yourself to this person because you're just you're gonna see just how nasty or how horrible they can be. And if they have nothing to use against you, they'll can misconstrue it or make it up. Like this person is evil. Man, I just feel like I feel like you're gonna be so happy you didn't trust somebody and you listened to yourself. You're gonna be so happy you didn't do it. Yo. Yo, you're gonna you're gonna be so happy that you looked out for yourself in a situation because someone was gonna lead you somewhere like a dark path or something like that. Like someone here is not to be trusted. I feel like this person relies on mystery, so like they like to keep people in the dark about shit, or they like to cause confusion. A lot of shit they say or do doesn't make sense. You don't understand where their motivations lie. That's where they. That's how they do it. You're gonna be so happy you didn't trust this person. So fucking happy. Who is this person for Taurus? Who is this? I feel like you're you're lucky. Who is this person? This person could be much older than you, but I'm hearing this person lives with a lot of regret. So like the things they've done in the past, like they have a lot of like baggage or like past stuff going on. And if you would have involved yourself with this person, that would have been your burden to bear or your baggage. And I promise you, Taurus, you do you did not want I don't know what this baggage was, but you didn't want it. I promise you. Because this it this looks bad. The page of one, man, you you avoided I feel like you avoided something because you saw it. Or you're if you haven't gone through this yet, you're gonna be avoiding something because someone 
I don't know, I feel like you see it coming if this hasn't happened to you yet. This is gonna, this is a reading for the first two weeks of September, but this message just came out. <sighs> oh my God. The four, four of swords and the, five, the nine of swords minus that, that's the five of swords again. I feel like someone would have did you so dirty had they gotten the chance to, and I'm so happy you didn't give them that chance because they would have done you so wrong. I don't know what this, who is this person for to, yo, this could be a sneaky ex or a sneaky link that you have. Could be someone from your past coming back. If this hasn't happened to you yet, Taurus, just know that this is what this person is coming to you with. You don't need to know tarot to see that this tower card right here looks very bad. I feel like this person is coming back in your life to burden you with something. And I'm just getting like you are going to be so happy you didn't let them do it. Because whatever that burden would have come with is way more than you bar than you would have bargained for in, in letting them unleash that onto you. The Knight of Cups, Four of Pentacles, don't let them do it. Don't let them don't let them come back or don't let them back in or don't let them do you dirty like this, whatever. I don't even know what this is, but don't let them. Don't let them get the chance. Just don't. Because any chance they get, they will. This person, you don't even have to give them an inch and they take it a mile. You, you don't have to give them anything and they'll take it there. They'll just make it up because they're that kind of person. Like I'm hearing, how come, how, how come you got there and I didn't? Like how come you get it and I don't? Like this person is spiteful. How come you get these nice things and I don't? Like someone has some dark ass energy. Ten of swords, yeah, dead that, dead that. This could be an Aquarius that you're dealing with. If you want to know if this person knows that they're wrong in the situation, like if they did you dirty already once before, they do know that they're wrong. They know what they did was wrong. So they're not oblivious, they're not stupid. They, some, of you, some of you, they could have done whatever they did intentionally to hurt you. To spite you. This person has a lot of animosity towards you, like a lot of anger, temperance. They could have tried to control you at some point. Yo, man. Yo, I feel like this person has a lot of anger problems. Could be a person from your family, could be a Pisces. Someone has like controlling tendencies and anger issues or either or. Someone as well could have a drinking problem. This could be a father for some of you guys. Cause I was getting that Aries. Aries represents the emperor. I feel like whoever this person is, they're embarrassed by how they've acted in front of you. And it's like, they wanna take it back now. But can you even take any of this back? Like, can you redeem yourself? Is there any point of redemption for this right now? I feel like whatever they did, however they acted, was really out of character or maybe in character, I don't know. But I feel like they're very embarrassed by it now. They could be coming back in to redeem themselves, like almost like the walk of shame. And they should be ashamed, honestly. King of Wands, yeah, because I feel like now someone wants your help or they need you now. How embarrassing, yo. <laughs> Yo, that is so wild. If this isn't karma, I don't know what the fuck is, yo. This is like someone try doing you the dirtiest anybody in the world could have done anybody. Thinking there would be no repercussions, but somehow in some strange way, whether it's a day later, weeks later, months later, years later, they need your help. After they did all of this, they need your help now. How funny... The way thing it's crazy the way things turn out, isn't it? Crazy the way the tables turn on somebody. Ain't that some shit? What is this they need help from Taurus? What is this they need from Taurus? Sick, they need your guidance or your assistance or your help. That's why they're reaching out to you now, because they're lost in life or they need something here. 
It's just like someone who bullies you loses all their friends and you're the only one that was nice to them but they treated you like crap so now they want they want redemption from you again. That's like some, something like that. Or like someone robs you to appease like a group of people and those group of people turn on that person. And now they realize like, oh damn, look what I did. Like it's like someone burnt a bridge, but now they need that now they need it to be rebuilt again, but they can't. God, Cause I feel like someone did you so dirty, man. What's the six of cups for um for what this person needs from Taurus? So this person is an embarrassment. They need your assistance, they need your guidance, they're looking to you for help for something. Honestly, Taurus, I feel like don't help this person. I feel like they're not healthy. They're battling something deeper or like darker than whatever they're showing you. Like they have issues that they need to work out. I also feel like for some of you, you deserve better than this person. six of cups for some of you guys this, this could be money that they're reaching out to you for it's like someone making fun of you because you're broke then they go bankrupt or something or, or they end up calling you for money because they're in debt or, or something like that like someone someone is like it's like someone you know how people can be filthy rich this person is like embarrassingly broke and poor like filthy poor it's not embarrassing to be poor but because of how how messed up this person is, it's embarrassing. Because I feel like this person is the type of person to make fun of your situation and then end up in a worse one and come crawling back to you begging for your help. It's like someone making fun of you for your job or your debt. Turns out they're, they're like thousands of dollars, like hundreds of thousands of dollars more than you. Like, if only you knew, Taurus, if only you knew how much this person needs you. For some of you, this person might actually reach out. And when they do, I want you to just laugh in their face. <laughs> Cause this is, what a damn shame. I don't even know what this person did to y'all, but I feel like it was like messed up. I'm more about this for Taurus. This person may call you when they're drunk. I'm more about this for Taurus. The lovers, the lover and the misfortune cards. Could be a Gemini. They only call you when it's beneficial to them or when, or when they need help with something. Lover and misfortune. Yep, misfortune. This is basically the tower in this deck. I feel like this person maybe like took a big hit. For some of y'all, they could be waiting outside of your house. For some of y'all, it's even, uh, I, you know, I don't usually take these cards literally, like the imagery, but for some of y'all, this person's literal house could have burnt down and now they're trying to come live with you or something got set on fire and now they need it from you. But for some of y'all, I feel like this is like the bridge that has burned. Like they have done all this damage here where you had to put out the fire or other people had to help put out the fire. And they're trying to walk down the road as if nothing happened. For some of you guys, this person could be coming to say sorry. For some of you guys, this person is a mess. Like they're a mess here. Like they're popping up like this lover's card or lover, but this is what, the, this is the baggage that they hold. Like they're very messy. They don't know how to clean up after themselves. This person could literally be a slob, emotionally, physically, verbally, whatever. Like they don't know how to clean up after themselves. They, they talk like disgusting they 
they don't know how to like maybe their living environment is gross they look gross they like i don't know something about them is like mess old woman is this old woman here for taurus this could be an aries old woman and child yeah i feel like now they're embarrassed For some of you guys, I feel like now they're embarrassed, now that poverty has stricken or now that they have gone through something, some kind of misfortune or some kind of tragedy. For some of you guys, they have lost somebody. Now they understand, now they get it. And I feel really bad, like I wouldn't, I wouldn't wish this kind of misfortune on anybody. I feel like you suffered for something and either they weren't there for you or they made fun of you for it. Uh, and now they've lost something as well. And now look. Now they need your help with something because now they're stuck or they lost something. So now they get it. But guess what? All the people in their life before, out of all of those people, you're the only one that would understand this tragedy or misfortune, but they lost you in the process because they made fun of you for it. I feel like somebody really missed out here. I feel like you would have you taught this person, you would have helped them if they didn't, if in another life, but man, they missed out. So I'm gonna leave it at that, Taurus. I hope this helped you. I'm very sorry that if this is your situation. Man, well, I'll see you in your next reading. I hope this helped you. Bye.